Color plays a great uh, influence in my life. Composition, design, also the color in particular. And, uh, color, and, I, and I'm a passionate person, so my color and my work is passion. Uh, I'm a romantic. And my, much of my work is inspired by romance. That's pretty much it. If I have any questions, yes. I graduated from high school and moved to, from Michigan to New York with the intent of, of attending the School of Visual Arts, which I did. And then I went on to Cooper Union, also an art school, and worked in the field of art and advertising and marketing for, for about a year and a half, and then decided I want to go back to school because I wanted to learn the business end of it. So then I enrolled in school. Uh, in Peru College in New York for business administration. In my last year of college, I decided that uh, what I really wanted to become was a publisher. So I married the business end of my training to the art part and formed the publishing company. Part of my life, later years, has been remodeling and building homes. And so architecture, which had always been a second love of mine, played a great role and uh, what I was doing because it love and entailed interior design and uh, exterior design. I didn't get started actually painting again until my last daughter, after my last daughter had graduated from college. At which time I felt, well, I can begin to give myself permission to do something that I really want to do, something that was inside of me, something of passion that I would be able to express. But before that, of course, I felt the responsibility of trying to earn a living and supporting a family and all that goes with that and I felt that uh, it would be foolhardy for me to start a career in art uh, in conjunction with trying to earn a living. So I didn't feel that art would afford me the living that I needed to make. Uh, now that my last daughter has finished with school, uh, I am able now to focus and concentrate on something that's important to me, which is art, which is painting, actually. I've always loved art. I've been painting actively now for almost three years. Uh, I have a studio in Midtown, uh, Midtown, Houston, and I spend as much time as I can. I enjoy exploring. I, have, I enjoy having a sense of humor with my work. Uh, I try not to be too serious. Uh, I like the art to just be something that people look at, enjoy, uh, feel good about and um, began to feel what the artist intended. Avocado salsa was inspired by the textures, the feelings, the color of food, uh, of a Spanish dish. I'm not a very adventurous eater. I still felt that the texture and the colors of the food were exciting to me and, and because of the colors uh, I ventured into a salsa because I know a salsa has meats and vegetables and, 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 and different textures of the, of the fruits, I mean, rather the vegetables. So um, here we have those colors and things and, and that red splash on the painting is in the, indicative of a, of a, of a tomato and, and the splashes that a tomato would make in the painting. What inspired me to do Solar Storm was the cosmic, the universe, 
outer space. And I was just imagining what a storm in space would appear to be like. So I have the red streaks going through like lightning. The colors are the illumination of, from stars and other light sources in the universe. Since I finished the painting, many people have looked at it and, and told me that some of them who have studied astronomy have told me that my depiction was very accurate. These are the kinds of colors that you do see in space. The rainforest uh, was a piece inspired by my several trips to Brazil many years ago, Rio in particular. I love Brazilian jazz. I love Brazilian music. Uh, it's, it, it's not hard for me to create work with, those, with, with Brazil on my mind. A tribute to Cal was inspired by the rhythms and the beat and the uh, cadence of the Latin beat. Uh, Cal Jader is his name. He was a very popular musician in the early 60s. Stepping out and the second companion piece to that would be uh, It's On. For the most part, uh, females have been the most vocal or the most uh, visibly impressed with the two paintings. And, uh, and again, it's a humorous piece and meant to just evoke uh, sexuality, uh, intimacy. Man was a piece that I was experimenting with in terms with a piece of clay. I uh, didn't have any tools other than my fingers. Unfortunately, we generally don't see anything in, in sculpture, but uh, the breast of women, I said to myself, it would be fun, it would be interesting to give the viewer more than just a woman's torso or more than just an upper torso of a man. The response from women has generally been, and men, has generally been positive. Every once in a while I'll get someone who will say, oh, I couldn't take that home, I have small children. Every once in a while I'll get a couple who will come in and they will look at the piece and the man will comment or the woman will comment, gee honey, you must have modeled for this piece. Uh, if she interjects that kind of humor, then the man will, in most cases, feel comfortable enough to, to, to buy the piece and they'll take it home. 